Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, oh, okay, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, honestly, but in today's video, I'm going to be starting a new series where basically almost every single video for the month of November is going to be wrapped around the same topic. There are going to be different videos, but wrapped around the same topic of reorganizing my brain and reorganizing my life. I talked about this a little bit in my last video. I'll have that linked up here. Watch that later though. Watch that one after. But I talked about this a little bit in my last video where basically most of my life has been pretty chaotic in my brain and also just in my everyday life. I've had a lot of anxiety, a lot of very severe depression, but with all of that, with my mental health issues and just with how my life was, everything felt like chaos. I felt like I was always in a rush. I felt like everything was a mess around me. I felt like I was always just like, I mean, rushing is really the word to use. I was always rushing. And even if I wanted to help myself, if I didn't want to be rushing for a second, then I would just jump to a distraction. So it wasn't really a healthy coping mechanism or anything. I mean, sometimes I did that short, but generally if I was like rushing, 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 I'm super anxious, then I would just kind of completely fall and then want to distract myself on Instagram or playing a game or just talking to my friends, but in a distracting way, not a healthy way. Because because obviously you can go on social media and stuff in a healthy way, but I was doing it to distract from my life. And I thought that I was doing other things to help myself, but in reality, the things that I was doing to help myself weren't really working, especially when it comes to like my mental health. And so one of the things that's happened recently is I've been a Christian for eight and a half years. I gave my life to Jesus eight and a half years ago. And I have, you know, had some ups and downs with that over the years. And honestly, over the last couple of years, it's been a really big struggle of mine, like a really, really, really big struggle. I definitely was doing things where I was more living for myself and more focused on myself. Even if it was focusing on myself to help my mental illness, it was still focusing on myself in a way that actually made my mental illnesses worse and yes I still loved God but I was not focusing on him and a few months ago early July early mid July everything kind of completely flipped again I got that excitement back and I got that focus back and I really started to surrender again to Christ and it was such a refocus it was really really such a refocusing time in my life and within that I wanted to work on my mental health. I wanted to work on my actions. I wanted to work on how I was feeling, how I was thinking, what I was doing day to day. And within that, I also realized that I have some control issues, that I always wanna be the one I'm doing it, I'm working on it, I'm doing something. When in reality, yes, taking action is very important and having that focus is very important, but having God lead is the most important thing. And I've realized that over the last few months, and one thing that I realized about a week ago, and we all learn things at different times in our lives, right? But one thing that I learned about a week ago is where all this chaos and stress comes into play, where I spent so much of my life in chaos in my brain and in my surroundings. And about a week ago, I was like, I don't think that that's, that that's right. I don't think that that's good for me. Maybe it was at a certain point, maybe in certain situations it was helpful but I think in reality, I just really didn't even notice that it was chaotic because I was so used to it because I was like that for a really long time. And so about a week ago, God really told me like, let's work on slowing your life down a little bit, not in a lazy way. I'm basically going from like a million miles an hour to a hundred miles an hour. So I'm still going to be productive and ambitious and I'm gonna still work really hard, but slower and more intentional and calmer. Those are kind of like the words that I have in my brain right now, like calm, slow, and intentional. And so again, still productive and still getting things done, but my life was almost so chaotic that even when I got things done, I still felt stressed and it still just felt like too much. And I was rushing, you know, and honestly rushing through something versus doing it slow and intentional, honestly, the time difference is not gonna be that much. It really isn't, depending what it is. It really isn't gonna be that much, but how your heart feels and how your brain feels, is gonna be a drastic difference. And I've even just noticed that from the last week of me starting to practice this. And at first, I would explain these, I'm making changes, I'm doing it. But you know what, God's making them. God is making these changes in me. I still have to put the effort in and the focus in, and I have to take action, but God is leading and I can absolutely feel the difference. Anytime that I have tried to fix my brain or whatever, whether it was therapy, books, whatever, 
Anytime I tried to do it myself, it might help a little bit, but it does not fully help. I need God to lead it. And then I will be able to do the correct things that he wants me to do because he knows me better than anyone ever could. And so yes, therapy still might be a great idea or you know, going to see doctors or doing certain things still might be really helpful, but I just think it works better if God leads. And so that's what I want my focus to be. I want calm, intentional, and slow. I know sometimes I'm gonna be rushed. I know sometimes I'm just not gonna be calm because I might be excited about something and that's fine too. A lot of my day to day has been very hectic when it doesn't need to be. And those are the things that I wanna work on being calming and slower and more intentional. I'm gonna repeat those words a lot because they're important to me and that's really the goal. But here's the thing, it's not a goal I'm gonna reach it and then whatever, it's that I'm gonna work on for a very long time until maybe God leads me in a different direction but this is where I feel like it's going right now. I have a few notes. So calm, slow, intentional. I also wrote down organizing my brain and organizing my life because I am going to discuss this over basically the whole month of November. This is going to be my November series, basically. And I'm probably gonna talk about it after that as well, but I intentionally am going to make November most of the videos talking about either my mindset behind this stuff and or actionable steps that I'm taking. And so reorganizing my brain 100% and also like reorganizing my life as well. And so, you know, one of the videos that's gonna be next week is reorganizing my closet. And that might seem small, but in reality, having my closet organized in the way that makes sense to me is going to decrease the amount of stress that I have when I'm trying to find a shirt or if I'm trying to cram something into a drawer. No, I wanna have more of an organized space so that there can even be a space for calm around it, you know? And so that's really important to me. And I need to remind myself, I don't know if you struggled with this as well. Sometimes I've struggled with the idea of going slowly at something means that I'm lazy. And I just remind myself that it's not. Because like I said earlier, I think I use the analogy of like, it's more like I'm going from a thousand miles an hour to a hundred. Well, a hundred is not safe. It's like I'm going from 80 miles an hour to 55. You know, it does not mean that I'm going from 80 to two. I'm still gonna be getting stuff done. I'm still an ambitious, hardworking person. But I think if I go just slower than I was, slower than the hectic, chaotic pace that I was used to, I think if I go slower than that, I can go at a healthy pace that not only will help keep me calm, but I can maybe even be more productive and get more stuff done in a healthy way and maybe help other people better. I really hope that I can do that. And yeah, I just think that there's a way to slow down without being lazy. But in my brain, I think for a long time, I've had slowing down equal lazy and that's not true. Obviously it can be true. Like some people are like, oh, I'm gonna have a slow morning, but in reality, they're being lazy. That is something that can happen. We have to be really brutally honest with ourselves when it comes to these kinds of things. But I know for me, if I'm talking about something slow and calm, I know for a fact, if I'm really honest, it does not mean lazy. It means healthy. And I just think a lot of my life honestly has not been healthy. And again, I've tried to change so many things about my life and it didn't work because sure, God has led me in lots of ways and I'm so grateful, but a lot of it, I was still trying to control. And there's a difference. There's a difference in that because I'm still gonna take action and put effort in, but God is in control. God is leading me. And so I'm able to see the correct path instead of just trying a bunch of different things and seeing what helps, God makes it easier. Is it always going to be perfect and always make sense? No, of course not. But it's going to be easier to at least sometimes see what path to go on. And I would argue it's even more than sometimes. I would argue it's a lot of the times. My life is still gonna be hard because we're human, but giving my life to Jesus and focusing more on him means that I'm not gonna be alone through all those struggles because I'm still gonna have struggles, everyone does. But I'm gonna have a calmer heart and hopefully a lighter heart through those struggles, so it will be easier to navigate them. And that's part of it as well. And so this is, I hope, greater than me. I think a lot of things are greater than just the person. We can really help a lot of people. Everyone can, you know? And so what else is on my list really quickly? Jesus has been changing my heart, my mental health, absolutely. I don't wanna rush my life and I don't wanna live in distraction. I know I talked about this a few minutes ago, but I have really distracted a lot of my life, a lot of my life, like an embarrassing amount of my life. I have spent distracting myself instead of trying to get to the root cause of my problems and seeing what I can do to fix that. But now I'm not gonna do that anymore. I mean, sometimes I'm sure I'm going to do that, but my focus is not gonna be on distraction anymore. My focus is going to be on the greater picture of this and praising Jesus. So I'm definitely working on distracting less, definitely. One of the last things I firmly believe, I've talked about this a lot over the years, that mindset needs to be mixed with action for anything to work. 
I think that if you want to take an actionable step towards something, say you want to start a new habit of exercising more, if your mindset is off, if you hate exercising, if you complain about it all the time, if you don't really want to do it, if you have a negative mindset about it, then you're probably not even going to stick with the habit. That's just an example. But I think that that's really with everything in our lives that we're doing. If we want to help ourselves or if we want God to help us, or if we just want to change something and it's an action, we also have to change our mindset with it. And so that's why a lot of these videos that I'm going to be doing over the next month, I'm going to mostly be showing you actionable steps that I'm taking. This video I'm going to talk about a lot more because it's like the first video of the month, but even the other videos where I'm organizing my closet or I'm, you know, reorganizing my car or I'm showing you some things that maybe I'm getting rid of or things that I'm purchasing or some things that I'm just showing you that I'm actually taking steps towards, my mindset is also going to be there. And so hopefully kind of the more you take the actionable steps, it's going to strengthen your mindset. And the stronger your mindset is, the more actionable steps you're going to take. And so I really do think that mindset matters with any, any change you're going to make your mindset matters about it. However, there might still be stress that you have daily. Maybe you're not gonna get any less busy, but sometimes we can decrease the feeling of it being chaotic even if we're still busy. Because being busy does not mean we have to feel chaotic. We can be busy, but still just feel like we can handle it. You know what I mean? And so that's basically what these November videos are gonna be. I'm gonna kind of take you along in some steps that I'm taking. And I'm still gonna talk a little bit about the mindset, but most of these videos are going to be actionable steps because even little things like reorganizing your nightstand can make the world of a difference for your stress. Because maybe your nightstand's just cluttered and it's like even to find the remote takes you two minutes to just find the remote. But if you, you know, maybe get an organizer where the remote has a little home, that might decrease even a little bit of stress. And if you do little things like that all over your house and then you add the mindset changes to it, I really do think that it can help. I really do think that if possible, again, it's not possible for everyone, but if possible, having you know one night a week where you're like, I'm gonna shut my computer, I'm gonna shut my phone, I'm going to just detach from all of that stuff and I'm just gonna sit and read a book for an hour. You know, but for me, even if I had an hour to sit and read a book, I would still be anxious. I'd still be like rushing almost through it. But so what I'm working on is even if I have that same hour, I want to look at it differently. I want to treat it differently and I want to feel calm during it. It's a hard change for me. I'm 37 and I've basically lived in chaos most of my life. So it is a hard change, but with God, all things are possible 100%. And so it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of series. It's not gonna be too different because I talk about Jesus and I show you organizing and stuff, but it feels different to me because I feel different already and it's still going to take a lot of work. I'm still probably going to stumble, but it's something that I'm working on. I think is really important. I really, really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that you're subscribed to see all of these November videos and just to see even my videos after that in general. I also do go on day trips and stuff as well, but I am going to talk a lot about mindset and just show you some changes that God is helping me make in my life. A lot of my videos on Sundays are about food and so I'm going to have some cooking videos as well. And yeah, I just really hope that you're subscribed I want to be a community with you guys. I love you so much. Like I love you so much and I hope that these videos can entertain, but I also hope that they can encourage. I really do. And so, yeah, so I guess it's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.